The Late Show 2016 coverage is brought to you by GoingGear.com. Everybody, it's Chris from Prepare Mind 101, Blade Show 2016. This booth, this is one of those videos uh, that I definitely want you to watch. Every year, I stumble across somebody that I just was not aware of and see something that totally blows me away. So we're going to, I'm going to introduce you to White River Knives and specifically the subline of the Firecraft knives. And these things are, I'm definitely gonna be doing some videos on them when I get my chance, but this is probably one of like the two knives that I've been most impressed with at Blade Show. So check this out. I'm Jason Teets with uh, Firecraft Knives, uh, right out of West Michigan, produced by White River Knife and Tool, and uh, my design that I brought to them uh, to get out to you guys. So let's let's start with the one that I like the best. Absolutely. Here we got the uh, the FC4, the four inch S30V, all made in uh, West Michigan. Like I said before, uh, West Michigan made in micarta. Uh, there's the five inch, and uh, we got the seven inch model as well. Those are in .190, and this guy right here is in eighth inch. Look. I know my video sucks, I'm having issues today, you know, the whole mic thing, and we'll get into the other stuff later, but uh, I'll shut up. These knives are cool. Let me get back here. <laughs> so, yeah, let me first say that this handle is amazing. S, S, S30V, yeah, S30V, I couldn't, S30V or S35. S30, yeah, S30V. You know, nice uh, kind of tumble finish, high grind, very sharp, center line point. Got this hardened steel bow drill divot. No wearing out, no friction. You don't get those black marks in your micarta. You know, the last thing you need to worry about is, uh, is 10 things at once when you're trying to, bow drills are hard enough. <laughs> So uh, if you put that bad boy right in the, uh, the Kydex, you can hold on to that. You don't got to worry about an exposed blade, less friction, less heat, faster fire. That's what we're worried about. You're getting that fire as fast as possible. Right, That's the so, idea behind that. So stay tuned as soon as we can get our hands on a uh, working one, we will definitely do a video on it. And because of the bow drill stuff, you know I'm a, I'm a dummy when it comes to that stuff. I will be sharing it with uh, Joe Mobley and Mother Bleepin' Larry Roberts. Sorry, I'm silly today. So maybe I should just not do videos. But I kinda have to because I gotta get them done. But yeah, I'm gonna like actually get it to some bow drill people so you can check this thing out. So. Thank you very much. Absolutely, thank you, I appreciate and, uh, it. And website, Facebook, all that stuff. Yeah, Facebook is uh, Firecraft Knives, or Firecraft Customs, and uh, you go through White River Knife and Tool, they have the rest of the information. We're, uh, we're in the process, we're getting it all going. Why don't, why don't we just, uh, since they're busy, grab the knife that I bought there, show their knife real quick. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the two models of the uh, the backpacker and the caper. Once again, it's S30V, and basically the same profile. This is just the uh, you know the, the scales pinned on and the uh, paracord version. So this is this is the one knife at the show that I actually bought that I paid money for. It's one of the only fixed blades that I still carry right on my backpack. It goes with me everywhere. So you will be seeing a video on this one at some point. I went ahead and I wanted a, a pimp neck sheath for this so I just handed it off to Gary at C2G Fab because he's here at the show. So once I get that back, I'll do the video on that. Alright, thank you very awesome. much. Thank you very much, I appreciate it.